Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back. I just dropped the car off at the Ford dealership. Uh, they might have the car all the way through Wednesday, and they couldn't provide a loaner or a rental um, at least until Monday, so I gotta stop by or call 8 a.m. Monday. And they said it shouldn't be a problem. They can put us in the loaner or a rental. They just, for some reason, can't do it today because it's the weekend. Um, and they don't have any on site. So it is what it is. Um, I guess we'll just have to do between now and Monday and I'll have to come back Monday morning. So now I'm going to go on a run because this is in a, just north of Winter Park. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my run this morning to get back home. Check it out, I'm right by Park Avenue, and here is the very famous, very old Winter Park Farmer's Market that Sarah and I have yet to go to, even though we've lived over here for over a year, every Saturday. Looks like it's kind of just getting started, people are still setting up since it's earlier, but looks cool, looks cool, and it continues all the way over there. Regardless, going to do work this morning and then dropping off the car I've been getting out of my run later than I've been the past couple days so it is real hot real sunny it's super rainy perfect rainy day Peter's super sleepy oh you're vlogging I might take a nap because we don't know what to do but we need to instacart food because we have no food and I'm hungry <laughs> we, we have no car um we have um a potato oh yeah <laughs> we have and chicken nuggets chicken strips not real ones. yeah like whatever brand they are Should they're I like good read, meditate okay we have so much baby laundry to fold it's all clean now but we got so much to fold you could read while i do that after a nap yeah you can nap i'm still getting t yesterday's i was gonna say i'm getting tomorrow's vlog up don't know how that would work getting today's vlog up and we have the best show to ever exist on. Comment below if you are a Schitt's Creek fan. Here's my good puppy. Here's my best friend. She's my wife. And we're getting zesty with um, our dinner ideas and our shopping ideas. Here's, <laughs> my hair is crazy. Here's the skin of it. Is that the right phrase? Skin. You guys saw I dropped the car off. We don't get a rental till Monday. We got no car. <laughs> we got no way to get anywhere unless I ride a bike somewhere, but it's raining. We also, um, the day that we didn't vlog, we watched, what was it called? Fat Fiction? Fat Fiction. Um, and we're going to try and adjust our diet a little bit to be... More fat-centric and less carb-centric. Yes. Um, good, healthy fats. Avocados. Back to being more Mediterranean, oils, but, yeah, most nuts. The, but, but plant-based still kind of. Yeah, you just sound like the little boy from Polar Express. Um... So we're, for some reason right now, like, I just can't think of recipes, so we're going to look at this book. Um, I, not even recipes, just, like, dinner ideas. And then I think we're going to Amazon Prime Fresh Delivery, see about yeah. that, just for potentially this weekend's worth of food. Yeah. And a few, so you, like, necessities we need, because... Right. I don't... Because, yeah, we, we just... We are people that, like, will go out and we want to shop and see things in person and do all of that. So, a quick little trip, maybe a recipe or two from here. P.S. I wrote this, I got this for Sarah as a gift one time, and I inscribed on the inside, and I, the, I wrote a little cheesy message in 2016, and it says, P.S. Best of Wives, Best of Women. Do you know what that's from? Alright, so after a good long bit of time, we decided on two dinners and some necessity breakfasts and lunches. But now while we wait, because it's going to get delivered in the next four to six hours, we're going to tackle all of this one hour later hey hey looking much better got it all organized by size over here gotta figure out how i want to store it all in the armoire beautiful weather i'd actually open up the window and uh life is good now this is a view look at that we got clothes hung up over there clothes drying up there rupert making sure we're doing everything right and orderly oh Eve just 
came in to make sure we were doing everything right and orderly. She's got to inspect it all. Yeah. She's very confused. She is very confused, but she's also really tired right now. Oh, she got an itchy chin. It feels so good to have the window open, just like smell fresh air in the apartment. That's good. I'm sweating. I'm just sitting here rocking with my cup of tea. My spot of tea. We're getting like our, like how we're going to organize his clothes in here all situated. We need a trip to the container store. Feels good. All right, so as you can see, all 29 items from our Amazon order were there. Um, they're packaging it up now. Did we have to... Um, Replacements? Yeah. No. Nice. Right. Sarah and Eva are having an apple peanut butter snack. And we decided we were going to try to watch two different movies today. Mm -hmm. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind mm -hmm. and The Exorcist. Yes. So we're going to start with we're The Exorcist. We're trying to like open, I mean I know Exorcist isn't a, well, a Halloween movie, but like we're trying to like watch more horror movies this. This holiday, this Halloween season. So here's our little dinner. I got, I just haven't like distributed the ranch dip. It looks kind of funny being on the plate like that. But I, I'm a McDonald's barbecue sauce lover and hoarder, so I have some of that for the little tenders, some potato wedges with ketchup, and who knows, we'll probably have a little snack later once our um, Amazon order arrives, but this is dinner for now. All right, we just finished. I watched The Exorcist in high school with one of my best friends, and was I do not... Was it high school? I feel like it was, it was probably younger. younger. I don't remember it at all. So maybe like we didn't finish it. I mean, we didn't take it seriously. Maybe we were goofing Excuse off me. during it. But I thought it was really good. It was really demented. But really good for that genre. Yeah, it's like, I feel like it's such like a pinnacle of... Horror films. Like you hear that, the name, and you're like, ooh, he watched it. But also like, there was so much more to it. I think it was probably one of like the first movies that was like that. And I remember people like... I mean, obviously, I wasn't alive then, but that people like reacted to it very extremely. Um, it had more of a story than I yeah. realized. Like, like there the, was just there was more I just background knew, in like, that than any other Exorcist-like movie. Yeah. Usually, it's just like scary scene, scary scene, scary. A little bit of story, it, scary scene, scary scene, scary at scene. At the beginning, of this was like, like all story and background. Yeah, it was, I was nice. like, is that is this the real movie? <laughs> Are we right watching one? the right movie? Because um, I only knew like the pop culture references. Which, I mean, happened a little bit during it. But I think... I have like, to look up when... That, it that was a house during HHN, but I don't think it was a year that I went. What I meant by that, it wasn't like... It was mostly one scene, but there was way more of that pop culture reference throughout that I didn't realize. Interesting. Our Amazon order came, so yes. that was good. And I think we're going to try to cheer up the night Ooh. now. I don't know why you mean so much. I don't think that Eternal, what is the song, the other, the next movie that we watch, it's I don't cheery. think it's a cheery movie. Well, it's just not haunted. <laughs> Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Yeah, it's Jim Carrey, but I don't think it's a funny one. No. <laughs> um, maybe we'll eat some chips and salsa. Oh! Oh! <laughs> or hummus. Yeah. Ah, you're the best. <laughs> that made you that happy. <laughs> Two hours later. Did you like it? I really did. And I don't have a single remembrance of watching that movie, but I know I did back in the day. You... <laughs> and The Exorcist, yeah, you yeah. thought. And I think I've got that, some, like, suppression in my life. <laughs> and that movie is about... Forgetting. Memory, forgetting <laughs> things, so that's funny. I, I think I loved it. I think you loved it, too. I know, so our, the Petrus like warned us against almost not watching I'm Thinking of Ending Things because it's like the same director. Wait, we never brought that up. There's another movie oh. out that's called, a new movie, a Netflix movie, I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Yeah, it's not related at all, but it's the same like, creative team, and so it's got a similar like weird timeline, funky, hunky-dory. I feel like that one's more out there mm -hmm. and probably has less of a storyline after talking to the Petruses than Eternal Sunshine. But I'd watch Eternal Sunshine again. Yeah. I'll and we'd probably, right like, look up or, like, look things in the background and things. Yeah. I really liked it. Good. I like... The, that was, like, two movies tonight that, like, I had no context of what... I mean, obviously, I knew Exorcist was about an exorcism, and this was about a couple. But, like, I love when a movie takes me by surprise. Yeah. 
That was a good day. It was, I don't think it was the longest vlog, and you guys can be the judge of that, because you guys are towards the end of it. Um, but it was just like a nice, relaxing day. Yeah. I'm happy that because like we knew it was relaxing, it didn't bother us that we weren't Right. Doing like I anything. slept for 30 minutes while you were finishing up the vlog. Yeah. We don't have a car. It's weird not to have a car. Yeah. So those instances where it's this like... This is how my life was all the time, but when you were at work, I would just to live life knowing that I didn't have but now access. we don't have because we only have one car and now we don't have any car and it's like this one, the one instance where it's like ooh there is the perk of having two cars is like one's in the shop we can go somewhere yeah where it's like also we are like we told the people like I am pregnant and so like we need a car and so hopefully we will get that rental on Monday okay what's your rental on Monday yeah, It'd be great if they like su- if they surprisingly had the pieces, or they were able to get them Monday and get just like give us our own car back. Um, but if not, we're getting a rental on Monday. Okay, I gotta give props to Whole Foods. This bag of trail mix here, look, oh, it's maxed. It's to the top. Mm-hmm. That's like such a qualm I have. It's literally. To the top, like when I ripped that off, like I could feel it, the the food like in the zipper. Are you tired, sir? I wanna, I wanna stay at the beach club. Okay. Late, but not too late. The daily message. Let's see. Today, September twelfth. A quote is by Allison Noel. You cannot always have happiness, but you can always give happiness. Ooh, ain't that the truth? Yeah, plans are going along long run, but I have to look at the forecast because it is raining consistently out there, like the little drops that look like last a while. Um, well, time for us to pack it up. I'm trying out something called Bulletproof Coffee tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll see With how that goes. Real butter, carry old Irish butter. If you know what that is, we love you. <laughs> We love you anyway. Makes me want to eat all the Irish sort of bread. Yeah, I'm hungry thinking about I'm it. I'm very tired. Yeah, you are. I've been kind of tired all day. Oh, well, you're back and you're running? Yeah. Yeah. 16 miles in this week. Yeah. My watch resets on Sunday morning, so like I have a, like typically Sunday is the end of my running week, but with my Garmin, it's set up, and I think I could change it, but like right now it's like, when I, like now that it's 12.06 in the morning, like my watch will say zero miles for the week. But I did put in 16, so I'm back to it. That's four days consecutive. Mm-hmm. And it's raining, and it's supposed to be raining tomorrow. So we'll see if I get out mm-hmm. in the morning um, with the rain. To, I mean, if it's not terrible rain, I'll go out with the rain. Um, Peter has one white eyelash that I love, and I hope it never falls out. <laughs> some pressure. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Just like if you didn't, like you didn't know that about him. Like you, you know a lot about us. It's just a little, I'm just a little About that. Peter fact. You also don't know what I did on January 14th, 1993. But you neither do either. I. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little kid. We were living in Florida. I think. We might have to fact check that. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>